Hey everyone, uh, Mark Armstrong here, uh, CEO and co-founder of Rate My Agent. So welcome to another episode of the Espresso series. Um, this week uh, we're going to talk about Facebook advertising. A uh, quick, short, sharp intro into Facebook advertising. Uh, as always, if anyone's got any questions, uh, feel free to get into the chat. Um, also, there's the Q&A there. Happy to answer questions as we go through. Um, last week, this is sort of a bit of a continuation from last week. So last week we spoke about um, the difference between a, a personal profile on Facebook and a business page on Facebook. And one of the things we touched on last week is that if you want to access Facebook's advertising, boosting and, and their advertising platform, um, then you can only do that through a business page. So we, we highly recommend that, that, um, that everyone has a, a business page on Facebook and then it opens the door to all of these things to, to, to the Facebook advertising, which is really important. Before we get into it, I just want to touch on, the, the, I think, the history of, of advertising in real estate. Um, as many of you know, I've been involved in real estate for 20 years and involved in a th over a thousand transactions. So, um, so I've really sort of looked at, we've as a company looked at the history of, um, of, of advertising. Years ago, it was all about having that physical address, you know, harnessing the physical, physical address, knowing who lived in your neighborhood, um, being able to send them something through the post or even go and door knock. Um, and that was the lifeblood of real estate, door knocking and, and sending um, physical, um, physical mail to, to a letterbox. Um, and then it moved on from there, it really moved on to, um, to um, building a database of email addresses. Um, we're still there to some extent, but everyone holds on to their email database really, really closely. And, um, and, you know, we send out email marketing and all, and all those sorts of things. But, but the problem, as we all know, with email marketing nowadays is that we get so much email. I, I spoke to an agent the other day and I actually opened up and said, did you get my email? And he said, mate, I get 300 emails a day. I, um, I delete most of them and, and he probably deleted mine. Um, so we're not suggesting that email marketing is not important, but, but uh, it's effectiveness is really sort of a suffering because because people just get so much email nowadays and we really see that the marketing moving into the third battleground and it's really about the computer address it's about getting into um, um, uh, people within our marketplace into their computers now i, I call this capturing ip addresses it, it's not exactly right or, or capturing computer addresses it, it's technically my, my technical team will tell me that's not the right terminology and and i uh, I get it, but it's really about, uh, it's that remarketing. Um, I think we've all seen it before that when you, you might've been on a website and then you leave that website, you see Google ads or a Facebook ad popping up as you go along. And, and what they're really doing there is they're tagging your computer. They're putting a bit of code into your computer and now they're sending that information back to Google and Facebook and saying, we know this person has interacted with your profile on Rate My Agent or within your, within your own website. So they've already interacted with you. So let's remarket to them through the ad networks. And, and I really believe that's the next battleground. Um, you know, the physical address is not that important anymore. Email addresses are, are really sort of becoming less relevant and, and less important. So really the next battleground is, is, uh, is IP addresses. And if we do this right, if we set up our digital marketing strategy right, we really should be able to, to harness um, that remarketing. Uh, and that's a big part of what Rate My Agent does in Google already. And it's the, the thing that we're doing, we're starting to build within Facebook as well. Um, the next thing is when you get into these marketing, there's really three levels of marketing that you, you want to focus on. The, the first one is, is location marketing. So as, as a real estate agent, you really want to make sure that you're targeting people within your location, within your physical location, and, and we'll show you um, how to do that within Facebook. Um, the other one is, is search marketing. So there might be someone who owns an investment property in your area, um, and they might be in Sydney and the properties in Melbourne or whatever the case may be. So if they start searching for terms like find an agent in, uh, in Melbourne, then you want to make sure that that um, that you come up. You're, you're harnessing that that search information as much as you are that location information. And that third level of marketing is the one I spoke about earlier. Is, is remarketing is once they engage with you, is 
tagging their computer, putting a bit of, um, it's, it's called a, a tracking code, a pixel code into their computer and remarketing to them. Um, so we really need to make sure with any digital marketing strategy, whether it's Facebook or Google, uh, we really need to make sure we harness those three levels of marketing um, and, and we can certainly do those. Uh, and the last thing just to talk about before we get into, into Facebook's, um, Facebook's ad platform, I get asked this question a lot, what's better, you know, is Facebook marketing better than Google or is Google better than Facebook? And the answer is that they're different. They, they actually achieve uh, different objectives. Um, to give you an idea, I, I look at Google as being more like a letterbox drop. It's more like a, a flood of, of um, I guess, advertising. <coughs> Pardon me. It's really like a flood of advertising um, across the Google ad network. So to give you an idea, if you spend $200, $150 on, on a Google campaign uh, through, through promoter or directly through Google, you'll get around about, that your ad will be shown around about 150 to 200,000 times. So it really, from a branding exercise point of view, it just puts your brand out there across the market and you get high exposure. The downside is you don't get as many clicks. So you'll get around about 50 to 100 clicks. So only about 50 to 100 people will click on that ad and go into your Rate My Agent profile or into the page you want them to go into. So you get high exposure and a lower level of clicks. Facebook, you actually get the opposite. Uh, our data shows that if you spend $250 on a, on, a, on a Facebook campaign over the course of 30 days, you'll get around about 15,000 to 20,000 ad um, exposures. So you're getting you know, around about a tenth of the exposure that you're getting through Google. Uh, but your clicks, uh, the, the, I'm gonna show you an example later, but you'll get around about you know, 500 to 700 click-throughs. So you're getting much more click-through on a Facebook campaign, but you're getting less exposure. So I actually look at both of those and, and put them together and, and I actually see them working in unison. They work quite well. What, one is an overarching exposure. Google's more of a, a brand awareness. So people might not be looking to sell or engage with you yet, but you're putting the brand in their face consistently. And Facebook is more of an engagement. Um, it, it's more, you're more likely to get more click throughs and more people coming into your, into your profile. Uh, so I don't actually see one as being better or worse than the other. I, I, I actually think they achieve different objectives. In, in a sense, Google's like a letterbox drop, Facebook's like a door knock. You're not gonna do as many door knocks as, as letterbox drops. Um, we, we don't think that physical letterbox drops are the way to go, they're not the way of the future. But if, if you sort of relate to them that way, it's not a bad way to look at them. So let's get into, um, let's get into um, the Facebook ad network um, and, and have a look at how we use this. I'm going to share my screen here and I'm going to come into, into our, our uh, business page. So you'll see here that the first thing you'll notice is that I'm in business.facebook. So by setting up a business profile, you have access to, to, um, to this business page and there's a whole lot of things you can go, you can do in here. Um, and like anything, there, there's an easy way to, to, to access Facebook's ad network and there's a more complex way. The more complex way gives you more options and the easy way is, is uh, obviously gives you less options. So the first thing you'll notice here is um, as I scroll through um, our page here, you'll see that we've recently posted our blog um, uh, and advertising this, um, this, this webinar. And you'll see here that because I'm logged in, I can see this boost post. So essentially, anything that, that we post within our Rate My Agent business page or anything you post within your own business page, you'll see this boost. And it's really easy, it's a great little function. Um, you can just click boost post and it brings up this little ad tile. Um, there's a few things you can do here. The first thing is you can change the button. So you'll see here that this is, actually let's look at the ads first of all. This is what the ad will look like in Google's newsfeed. If I want to have a look at what it looks like on mobile, that's what it'll look like on mobile. If I want to do it through Instagram, um, oops, it's not going to show me Instagram, but it will show you um, how, how, the different, um, how the different ads look. And I can change this button here. I can say I want to, it's a seminar, so I want to do book now and we'll change that to book now. We can now also set the audience or, or the targeting. Who do we want this to show to? 
So we can we can choose it to we can we can choose our own targeting and, and we've just got this set here to everyone living in Australia between 18 and 65. In some cases that that's that's pretty sort of broad and we don't really want to go that broad. So we can also change this and, and say, actually, we only just want to show this to people who actually have already liked our page. So Rate My Agent has has 10 or 12,000 people that, that like our page. So we can just set this ad to, to people who like our page. We can also go a step further and we can actually set this to show, to say, we want it to, this ad to appear to people who like our page and their friends. Um, I actually quite like this one. I think the one, this one's a really good one because if you do have people, um, you know, past clients in your area um, and you want them to see an ad um, that you're promoting, then showing it to them and to their friends because their friends are likely to live, not all of them, but, but you may well find that you're getting into that community, into that uh, school community or sporting community or whatever it may be. So I actually quite like this one to, 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 to um, advertise to people who like your page and also their friends. It's, it's, a, it's quite a cool one. Uh, and the last one here is this location targeting. Um, so you can set, I've just got it set here at the office in Richmond, in our Rate My Agent office. You can set a radius to say, I want uh, my ad to appear to everyone within three miles. We're talking is a really cool one for, for real estate agents as well. Um, because you know you, you can just sort of um, uh, plot a pin on the map. Uh, it might be from your office, and you can say, "I just want to target everyone within that area." Um, and then um, you set your budget. You can choose how long it goes for. You can choose a budget. Facebook will give you an indication of how many people this will reach each day, and uh, you can change the duration. Um, goes, I think you can go a maximum of thirty days or so. Um, and the way you go, you put in your credit card and you push boost. So that's really the easy way to do it. it, it it's really quite user friendly. Um, we use, we actually use this functionality in our business. As you see, we, we use it from, um, you know, we actually use it to boost property banter, um, which we run every Thursday at, at uh, four o'clock. Um, we use it to boost some, some of our blogs. So, uh, so we use this really user friendly tool. So boosting, uh, let me cancel that ad. Boosting is a really cool little tool um, uh, and works, works really well. You can go the next level up. I'm not gonna go too far into this because this is where it does get a bit, a bit more complicated. Um, going into Facebook's ad network there. Um, so now we can get into Facebook's ad network. Uh, and this is where we can get right into the nitty gritty. We, we, can, we can build our own custom audiences and we can choose custom audiences we wanna use. We've got a whole list of, um, we've got a whole range of different, different ad types um, that you can choose from, not just boosting, but promoting your individual page and trying to get more likes. Um, you can also build out the, um, that remarketing a trixel that, that I spoke about earlier within this. So, so it actually gets quite complicated. Um, and we've, you know, in a perfect world, we've actually solved this problem for you of, of, of this, uh, this complication. And this is really what our promoter product does. Um, as I said, you, you, you can go deep into, um, into Facebook's ad network, but using something that, that simplifies all that for you is, is probably, uh, probably a better way to go. Um, and the way that works is really simple on, on uh, our promoter campaign. If, if you want to run a campaign through Instagram or Facebook or, or Google, you quickly, simply click ongoing campaign. You choose the, the reviews or the awards that you want to um, promote and click next. You can now choose the ad network. So if I choose Facebook here, you can choose the budget you would like to spend. Um, you can customize your budget. Um, and um, you, uh, our system effectively sets all the location targeting for you. You can change it based on your market here. So if, you're, if you want to, to promote into a different suburb, you can certainly change it here. Um, we take care of, in, from a Google point of view, the remarketing we take care of. Facebook remarketing is coming uh, very shortly and we take care of all that for you. Um, we take care of all the search type of marketing. This is, 
something that we we have a, a team on all the time who is monitoring how effective the ad campaigns are and we tweak the ad campaigns to to make them to make them really effective um and then you click next and uh and away you go to show you the sort of results um that we can get from this sort of campaign as i mentioned before here's an ad that, that john ran on facebook for 250 dollars um we got we got um uh, the, the ad was shown 17,000 times um, and there was 600 click-throughs. Um, so really good, really great click-through rate. So, so we really highly recommend Facebook's ad network. Um, it's a more targeted campaign, but you get really great results in terms of, in terms of click-throughs. So that's really right. That's um, Facebook's ad network in, in a nutshell. Just one other quick thing to show you. We're doing some some really cool things here at Rate My Agent. Um, we can customize the types of ads that you can do through through Promoter. Um, let me get into here. Um, I think you can see that now. Let me trust this computer. So, oops. Um, so this is a, a a campaign that we've just run for John. John's the the Agent of the Year in in Northcote. Um, and he's got onto our promoter team. Um, oh, there you go. Should have said, I'm getting text messages coming through from my sister-in-law. There you go. Um, so um, uh, we've done a customized campaign for John. So if anyone would like to do some sort of customized campaigns, we've got a promoter team there that can help you do this. So I live in Northcote. <laughs> this ad pops up in front of me all the time. Um, I know John reasonably well, but, um, but it, it, this is the location targeting working really well. I actually woke up this morning and I was checking in Facebook and, and the second post I saw was this sponsored ad. So you can see it's clearly an ad. Uh, we've designed this, this post for, um, uh, for John and, um, and, and got it working for him. Um, so as I say, if, if anyone would like to talk about that, please contact um, our team. Just email support at ratemyagent.com.au and we can, uh, we can show you how to do that. So that's my, my 15 minutes up. I'm just, uh, there's a couple of questions coming through. Um, can, I, can I target more than one postcode or area? You, you, you absolutely, you can. I mean, in Facebook, it's really about, um, Facebook has actually, actually had to change the way it, it, um, it, its algorithm works. Um, it goes back to the election and Cambridge Analytica. And so in the US, you're not out, uh, able to actually target specific suburbs in the US anymore. Um, they did that because of um, people were targeting just wealthy areas and, and different socio, socio, economic, uh, socio economic demographics. That's easy for you to say. Um, so now uh, it really needs to be done by a central point and a distance from that point. Um, so that's how Facebook works now. It, 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 uh, it had to change its algorithm to, to conform with new legislation in the US. Someone else is asking a question here about Instagram. Can, can I, uh, you, you can uh, advertise through Instagram. So uh, as I showed you the, um, the, the, the promoter product before, we give you the choice of Google, Facebook, and Instagram. But the early results we're seeing is, is that we're getting um, better results from Facebook. Instagram is, is great, um, but, um, but we are getting better results from Facebook. Um, the other thing just to be wary of is that is that um, Facebook and Instagram are owned by the same company. Uh, they use essentially the same ad network. So we just need to be careful that we don't cannibalize our budgets, that, that, that the Facebook ad network and the Instagram ad network doesn't, doesn't um, compete with each other. So that's something that we're, we're working through. Um, we're working through at the moment as a business. Questions flowing through. I've got another question here. Um, do I need a subscription to use Promoter? Um, so the answer is yes and no. Um, so, so you don't need um, a, a subscription to use the base level of our Promoter, um, which gives you a limited number of ad types that you can choose from. Um, and if you have a subscription, you, uh, if you upgrade your subscription, you can use um, different ad types. We, we have a, a greater selection uh, of ad types. Um, and we're actually building into the system in the coming coming months. You'll be able to um, we've built out a, um, a, a it's called Agas, um, a really cool piece of software that allows you to to build um, ads ads and, um, and and really have complete flexibility. And that will be covered under a subscription again. It's really a pro product. Um, 
uh, someone's the same person does how about video. So video is coming as well. So um, our promoter team, we've, we've got, we've got a, a, a great team, a wonderful team who just focuses on promoter. So although we can't promote video yet, we, we've just, uh, I think, um, I think a lot of you will have seen, we've just um, allowed um, video testimonials into rate my agent only a couple of months ago. Um, and as those video reviews start to build within our platform, um, I've got so many questions coming through at the moment. So video is coming. Are you able to send this presentation as video to show the staff? So Peter, um, yes, uh, this is on Facebook Live at the moment. So you'll be able to get it from Facebook Live. We'll also um, put this up in our blog, um, I believe by this afternoon or, or, to, or tomorrow. Um, and we'll send you an email to anyone who's registered for this. We'll send an email um, of this presentation. Um, and again, Peter, if anyone if anyone has any questions from us about accessing um, these ad networks, um, we've got we've got a wonderful team who who are experts in this area. Um, so they'll certainly help you out. I've got one other question here uh, from Harry asking, can I advertise listings on Promoter? Um, as it stands today, no, but we're, we're actually doing tests on listings at the moment. Um, we've actually built out our, um, we've done a few things. We've built out our listing pages. Um, I think the wonderful thing about our new, our new listing pages is they actually include your reviews now as well. Um, so, so ultimately when you, um, when we release the promoter for listings, which is, which is not far away, um, I don't want to give a date because um, because the tech team will kill me if I give a date. But but we're not far away. We're testing it at the moment, and 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 just one of the first things we want to do is is maximise the value of the ad spend. So our guy, our team at the moment are really researching the ad spend. How can we maximise clicks and views, uh, and and develop a product um, that is as good as the product that we've now got for for reviews. We're getting some amazing results for when we're promoting reviews. And we just need to make sure that we get um, we get those similar results for for listings as well. So so it's not far away. Um, stay tuned. That's that's all the questions. I think if anyone else has got any questions, you better pop them through the chat now or or, or the question and answers. It looks like no one else has got any questions. So um, guys, we've got we've got property banter on Thursday afternoon. Um, we've got. Um, um, uh, Lisa Novak coming. Um, I'm really excited to talk to Lisa on on Thursday. She she's doing um, she's selling a lot of property through um, with no advertising through Facebook, um, using Facebook as her primary source of advertising through through COVID. That she's just got this great review that we'll show you on Thursday that says sold my property with zero advertising through um, um, through this COVID period. So um, so fantastic. Um, just joined the meeting. What's the difference between Facebook ads via rate my agent promoter than external marketing company? So let me understand what that means. What's the difference doing Facebook ads via rate my agent promoter than external marketing company? Look, uh, in terms of the ad network itself, we're, we're both accessing, everyone's accessing the same ad network. Um, I suspect the difference with rate my agent to, to a lot of external marketing companies. I, I don't know whether it's the one that you're talking about. Um, but we, we can save a significant cost because um, we can auto generate ads. Um, so if you have to go to a marketing company who has to physically build the ads, the ad templates, that can be quite expensive because if you want to use Facebook and Google and Instagram, um, you, you've got to build multiple, um, multiple ad types. So, so ad generation is, is actually really important, building the ads. Um, and a lot of marketing companies, as I said, would do that. Would do that. Um, would do that manually. Again, I'm not sure if the, if, if you, your marketing company does it that way, but but that's possibly a big difference. The other one is is it's all about tweaking and monitoring um, the performance of the ad. Um, so we have, a, as I said, a full time promoter team. Um, their job is to run campaigns and and monitor campaigns and and maximise the dollar spend. Um, so again, I'm not going to say the marketing company that you're that you're using or considering using um, is better or worse, um, but it's about looking at, at the effectiveness. Some other some people also um, um, clip the ticket and 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 um, and effectively um, charge a lot for the generation of the um, of the the ad campaign. So um, I suggest that if you wanted to find out more information about our promoter product and how it works, again, 
contact us at support at rate my agent. Um, I think uh, the other, the other question that the other statement that someone's just come through helping me out here, this is awesome. Um, is that um, building the audiences can take time as well. Um, so uh, our system auto builds the audiences based on, on your location and, and both based on the information you provide us because we already have an enormous amount of information. We know where the property location is of the review. So we've got the lat long information. We can auto populate, uh, auto, auto send that information through to Facebook and to Google and to Instagram. So um, it can be very time consuming and expensive to manually build ads and to manually build audiences. Our system does it all for you. So uh, that, that allows us to, to uh, by building that it digitally and building that automatically, it means that we can allocate more budget to the actual thing that we want to do, which is actually uh, advertising, which means that we can get better results in terms of ad impressions and also click throughs. So there's, there's definitely a huge advantage to building all these things and, and doing it on a digital platform rather than having to do it physically. Um, that's enough for me. I think I've got no more questions coming through. Um, next week we'll have a, we'll have another great topic. I, I think we're talking about, uh, I don't know what we're talking about next week. I'll have to, I'll have to have a look at that. We'll, 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 um, I think it's maximizing, um, maximizing your reviews. I think it is next week, but we'll, we'll, um, ah, here we go. Thank you, Emma. <laughs> Emma, our head of marketing just told me it's about review syndication. So yeah, that's a, a great topic, a passion of, of, of mine and a rate my agent. Um, review syndication, getting the review is one thing, but, but pushing it into the market and making the bloody thing work for you. That's what it's all about, um, is making your reviews work as hard as you do. I've had another question here from Kathy. If there are, if there are several agents in, a partic in, in particular who are using Rap Agent, how is their audience kept separate, particular area? Yeah, so at, we, we do keep them separate. So we, we keep all of our audiences separate. So unique traffic to their profile page or to their review, um, um, the audience um, we build, we, we, it gets attached to them. Um, there are generic audiences. Um, uh, let me just get rid of that. I should turn my phone off. There are generic audiences um, that we build as well, but we, we actually effectively build, and this is certainly the case, case in, in Google and, and, and it's growing, it's building in, in Facebook as well. We build individual audiences. Every agent who runs a campaign, we're building an individual audience for. Um, it's quite a complex piece of software, but again, we've got a promoted team that, that, that just focuses on doing that. Um, so everyone, um, thank you for, for joining us this week. Next week, review syndication. Um, this is on Facebook Live. So if you want to rewatch it on Facebook Live, you can you can do that. We'll also send an email out. Um, so if anyone in your, your business wants to rewatch what we've spoken about here, we'll send it, send out an email so, and, and we've posted within our blog um, either either uh, certainly within the next 24 hours. Until next week, we'll see you then. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>